David Packard was a mind behind one of the most successful companies and a great man using his wealth for a good cause. From an early age, Packard was always interested in electronic devices and built his first radio while he was still in elementary school. After graduating from his local public high school, Packard enrolled as an electrical engineering student at Stanford University in California. There he met William Hewlett, a fellow student who shared his interest in electronics and the outdoors, and his future wife Lucille Salter. Packard went to New York to work in the vacuum tube engineering department of General Electric Company. He also returned to Stanford in 1938 to study the theory of the vacuum tube. Also in that year, he married Lucille Salter, who had met in Stanford, and the Packards had four children in the future. In 1939, Packard finished his electrical engineering degree under Stanford professor Frederick Terman. He had renewed his friendship with Hewlett, who had developed expertise on negative feedback circuits. Hewlett and Packard set up laboratory in the family garage and were soon taking orders for electrical devices around the town for money. Eventually, the two started to create their own items and made an audio oscillator, a device used to test sound equipment. The Walt Disney Company then bought eight for their upcoming movie, Fantasia. During World War II, Hewlett Packard expanded rapidly to create various military defense projects. Packard took full control of the company alone because Hewlett was in the U.S. Army at the time. After the war, business declined sharply and Hewlett Packard was forced to lay off employees for the first time ever. In 1950, business rebounded, and by 1957, the company's stock began to trade on the open market. The HP product line grew to include not only thousands of electronic measuring devices for a wide range of frequencies, but they also invented the first handheld scientific calculator. The company had almost always done custom work in the computer manufacturer business, but did not make their own computers until the late 1960s. HP had some difficulty with wider business and consumer markets. However, they still developed a wide range of programmable calculators, mini computers, and microcomputers. HP was one of the first and largest electronic companies in the region of California that is now called Silicon Valley. They gradually expanded their sales force to the rest of the nation and then opened up an international network. Their manufacturing facilities extended out of California to Colorado and Oregon and then to Europe, South America, and Asia. After the success of his business was established, Packard participated in many philanthropic projects. In 1978, David and Lucille Packard created the Monterey Bay Aquarium Foundation. They donated $55 million to build a new aquarium, which opened in 1984 with Julie Packard as the executive director. In 1987, Packard gave $13 million to create the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, and the Lucille and David Packard Foundation has provided 90% of the institute's budget. In 1986, they donated $40 million towards the building that became Lucille Packard Children's Hospital of Stanford University and made a combined donation of $77 million to Stanford University in 1994. David Packard died on March 26, 1996 at age 83 in Stanford, California and left about $4 billion to the David and Lucille Packard Foundation, including large amounts of real property and Los Altos Hills. David Packard will always be remembered as a man who revolutionized the technological business and a man who cared about the people around him.